unauthorized burning of household waste causes irreparable damage to the environment. According to ecologists, the substances emitted into the air as a result of waste incineration are 350 times more harmful to the human body than smoke of a cigarette. While burning plastic, rubber, cellophane and other synthetic products, more than 70 different chemicals are released into the atmosphere. Yet again, incineration of waste can bring not only harm, but also benefit. This function is performed by the Baku Solid Waste Incineration Plant, one of the most efficient and contemporary plants in Europe. The Baku Solid Waste Incineration Plant is the largest plant of its kind in Eastern Europe and the CIS. By burning waste, the company also generates electricity. About 800,000 tons of solid household waste are generated in Baku annually, of which about 500,000 tons are burned at this plant. Incoming waste cannot be immediately incinerated, so the plant divides waste into new and old. Waste is prepared for drying and sent to the furnace through a special drainage system. The first step of the plant is to receive and to collect uh, the waste in, in the pit that we receive from the truck. Uh, then we take, with a grab, we take uh, the waste to a, a furnace. This furnace burns at 1000 degrees uh, the waste. Although natural gas is used today to ignite the waste, the next step is using internal energy for burning without additional intervention due to the formation of cyclic process. Basically, we have uh, two lines of uh, two boilers. Uh, with this boiler, we are able to burn about 500,000 tons per year. Water pipes run along the walls of each stove. During combustion, the water flowing through the pipes is heated, turning into steam, which drives an electric turbine. As a result, waste is converted into electricity. Due to the incineration of waste, the plant generates about 200 million kilowatt hour of electricity annually. This is enough to provide electricity to 100,000 homes. The plant accounts for 1% of all electricity produced in the country, which can be considered a fairly good indicator. Burning waste creates a lot of harmful substances. The plant is equipped with filter system based on the advanced technologies. The composition of the filtered smoke is checked and if it doesn't contain harmful substances, transferred to the duct. If the inspection devices detect inconsistencies in the composition of the purified smoke, the operation of the installation stops automatically. After incineration, the waste is separated into two parts, fly ash and bottom ash. Since fly ash contains harmful substances isolated from waste, it is buried in special landfill. The ash residue is first passed through a magnetic separator, the metal residues are separated and sent for processing, and the rest is used as a shock absorbing layer in road construction. Without the incineration process, all waste would have to be landfilled. As a result, due to the large amount of waste, we would be forced to stop the work of the Balakhana landfill where waste is usually buried and neutralized in a short time. Over nine years, as a result of the neutralization of more than 4 million tons of waste, a fully automated and non-stop operating enterprise produced 1,587 million megawatts per hour of electricity. As a result of thermal recycling, the volume of waste was reduced by 10 times.